Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you some new, or I don't know if they're new, but um, some of my techniques when making kicks. Uh, we probably are going to make these style of kicks. Something like this. So, first of all, I need a punch. And basically, when I have the punch, we are basically done, but um, you will see. Let's make a sine wave. And by the way, I'm using Vital because everybody can use Vital. I'm not good at using Vital. I have no idea what I'm doing, basically, but um, because I can use most of the synthesizer with this experience, I probably can use also Vital. So this is not my main synthesizer so this is interesting in vital because they call these things keyframes if you have used any video editor you know what a keyframe is so this is one keyframe this keyframe <coughs> includes this sine wave we are going to make another keyframe and um, if we change this keyframe like so something like this now, when we move, move the cursor, you can see in the behind, we are warping this between these two wavetables. So let's pick a spectral blend, warping mode. And, um, yeah, it's working. Let's pick a, let's go for the G sharp, maybe. So we are trying to achieve the punts only with Vital, in my opinion. We are going to make the bassy tail with something else, probably, because Vital is not that good, in my opinion, when it comes to straight bass sounds like this. And let's use the envelope one. And now we can warp between those two keyframes with this LFO. And let's make a pitch automation with envelope 2. The reason behind this kind of sine wave harmonic wave shape is that um, we are trying to create the distinguishable punch sound. And um, this is a really good way of achieving this kind of sound. Okay, okay. So next thing is, let's use both of these filters. I'm going to pick this one. Add some distortion to the sound. So let's automate this. Is this a filter mix? Probably something like something like a filter mix. I really don't know. And now it automated the wrong thing. Nice. In Vital, this is so confusing to me because the user interface is in Serum is so much cleaner and much easier to understand. I want wanted to go here. Okay, now we are talking. Boom, 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 boom. 
Let's pick this one for now. What we really want to do next would be using Nimble Kick. I'm gonna use the Nimble Kick built in distortion. Let's record this one. <laughs> so guys, um, what happened? So, you sh did see the first part of the tutorial where I made the sound in Vital and I manipulated it in Nimble Kick, I think. And after this, I had the preferred sound and I did go here and I accidentally switched my audio drivers to my UMC audio drivers and um, only thing that works when you do that is my microphone and OBS cannot capture desktop audio because these drivers are not compatible with OBS and stuff without ACO link so uh, I'm going to explain what I did here, but um, you guys are pretty lucky, or I am lucky, because the first part where I actually made the dry kick is the most important part of the tutorial. This is just basic and simple. So what I did here, uh, yeah, so as you can hear, we have the same kick in here. With the effects on, I'm now we have this. And what I did from here is I rendered this kick out like this and um, I moved to the previous project file but um, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm doing here although I have showed uh, this chain before so I'm using the same chain reactor with this preset ProQ3 I'm controlling the gain of the red band with this automation, very simple, and I'm controlling this bell filter's frequency with this automation. So together, this is my only EQ automation, and these are static cuts and boosts. This next automation clip is controlling the next EQ, very simple, and that's all automations and stuff. After this, I have the wave shaper with this kind of shapes, mm, and I have the transient processor and ProQ3, just removing some harsh frequencies from the middle, some OTT with the low amount of mix or depth, and um, Trust2 to kind of add some almost compression like effect with clip control and this sort of shape and some little mix EQing. So that's all in this project and 
the sound goes from this to this. Now we move on to the next project where I did also have my wrong audio drivers on. So <laughs> guys, please bear with me over here. So uh, I'm going to explain exactly what I'm doing here. You guys don't have to worry about this. So here we have the channels. I did take this snare sound, as you can hear, normal uh, redeem snare, and I turn it into this. Basically just pitched it up very much. And um, it makes this sort of effect, adds, just, adds a little bit of transient to the sound. And this is our original kick, as you can clearly hear. What I did here, I did take the punch of the kick and separated it with the tail part. So this little snare and this starting punch sound like this together. And um, I'm go going to turn this off for now. These two guys do not have any sort of effects, little bit of mix EQing. These two things, the snare and the actual kick punch, are going to this punch channel. In here, removing some harsh frequencies that I had in the sound. And also, this convolver. I just printed out this sound with this <coughs> Convolver uh, preset. And um, the sound is here. I just reversed it. Now I have this really nice reverb tail. And this punch channel is now going with this reverse thing to the kick master channel. And we are going to talk about this channel very soon. This channel where the tail is, here is, there is nothing interesting, just EQing, basically. Nothing else. And this channel is also going to my kick master. And here we have some EQing, again. And um, soft clipper and I actually used this preset from Ozone. And that's the kick. I have two versions of the kick. The first is like this. The second is like this. Both are kind of cool in their own ways. And I just printed out the kick in the Edison and that's it. And little ending note, I want to be as transparent as possible with this tutorial so you guys can achieve the same sort of results. Uh, this is the kick we made in the video and this is the kick, same kick here in the playlist. And only effect I used in this mixer channel is a multi-band transient designer. I removed some sustain from the high frequencies and added some attack to the high frequencies and did the opposite thing to the low frequencies. This doesn't have a huge difference in the sound. So you can do just fine without this kind of fancy plugins. In the master I'm using the ozone again to achieve the desired loudness. And this equalizer plugin is doing nothing. So that's my tutorial about this kind of kicks. See you later.